how does a person take greater levels of responsibility within their role as a citizen from your perspective? One part is self-awareness. Another part is action. I think self-responsibility is one of the greatest superpowers that we as mortal humans can ever have. So the self-responsibility of like, hey, you look at, out at society and whatever you like, whatever you don't like about it, can you own the self-responsibility to say, that's my fault. I had a contribution to it, for better or worse. And self-responsibility, as powerful as it is, I think it's scary because it means we're responsible. What I did, what I didn't do, what I did, what I allowed, we have a role in that. It's so easy to just blame the other, but that's attractive disempowerment for everybody. First off, for ourselves, we're giving our power away and we're giving our power away to change when we just look at the other and say, F you. But if we look at the world through the, the, the lens that all the great wisdom tends to teach, which is the world is our mirror. Great. What do you see? We often know we're looking clean at ourselves when we feel an emotional charge. And I, I know like, oh, cool. When I see tyrannical behavior, when I see censorship, I get emotionally charged. Now I need to ask myself, what am I seeing them in the mirror? Because it's easy to look in the mirror when it's easy to look in the mirror. Like, cool, we're doing a self-growth session here. We got crystal bowls playing. Like, all right, it's a safe time to look in the mirror and uh, self-reflect. So even with whatever's going on in the world, it's so important to look in the mirror. And I, I see my emotional charge, like, cool, tyrancy, censorship. What's that tell me about me? Uh, I could escape that question and say, well, I don't treat people tyrannically. I don't censor people. I, I advocate for them to speak their minds freely, preferably with respect. But my answer tends to be, I treat myself tyrannically. I censor myself. I mean, we were already talked about how I censor my anger. So that's so much self-censorship. So it makes sense that I would be emotionally triggered seeing what I perceive to be other people doing it because I'm blind to how I do it to myself. And thank God for the other in the world for doing it because it provides a mirror for me to see, oh, yeah, I do that. And if I didn't have that mirror, I don't know how I would be able to become aware and then reclaim and rectify how I treat myself like a tyrant at times, how I censor myself at times. So how, part, how, how do you treat yourself like a tyrant? Part of it's kind of like this. Um, if I'm not productive, then I'm not worthy. Right. That's tyrannical behavior. Uh, I'm not lovable if I show anger to my loved ones. That's tyrannical behavior. You better do this to be lovable. You better do that to be worthy or even just nasty self-talk like, oh, JP, you idiot. Like, how could you do that? Or that, that video sucked. What the hell's wrong with you? So there's a lot of tyrannical behavior. And the past couple of years, I've been able to see a lot of it. I'm still sure a lot's in my blind spots, but I've been able to see a lot of it and get myself out of the jail more than I otherwise would have been. So I think there's the self-awareness when we experience the other. And then there's the Gandhi's wisdom of what's the action? What's the change we want to be in the world when we're looking out at society and wondering what we can do? 